Welcome to Push Go. This series will help provide ideas about what to consider when choosing or developing the right technology for people with disabilities. We'll have interviews, industry tips, and follow breakthroughs in the tech industry for niche groups. In this pilot webisode, we are looking at an exciting augmented reality maths game that was developed for kids with cerebral palsy. Meet Star One students at the Central Auckland Specialist School. Quinn, William, Oscar, and Vincent. All four of them have cerebral palsy, which is a condition that damages parts of the brain which control the movement, posture, and balance of the entire body. Everyday tasks and communication are major challenges for anyone with cerebral palsy. We have some students who come here and are frustrated that people aren't listening to them out in the community. We give them the tools to communicate with society and being able to enable our students to have a voice and be heard. Our four game testers can only communicate yes or no signals with our technology, and each of them signals a yes or no in a different way. Oscar oh. says no. These students are often on heavy painkillers and other medication to deal with daily life, and that makes learning even more challenging. The problem for him is, is because of his difficulty communicating, uh, it's very hard to know how much he's learnt. I think it came as quite a surprise to us several years ago that we didn't think he could actually read. and they actually discovered at school he could and he more or less taught himself to read and he was actually at a very high level. He's very easy to underestimate, to actually see how far he's going. You need plenty of interaction, you need things that stimulate him and he responds to so you can see that response. It's using their own technology for communication as well as using the app to which they're learning. As well as reading, Maths is another important skill that needs to be taught in a way that is tailored to the specific needs of the students. And there is now an app that does just that. Learning numbers will help you cast spells. Vince, we're going to start with you first, weren't we? OK, let's look for... Is that number one? The Wizard World of Numbers app was developed for children who are severely affected by cerebral palsy, so they can learn basic counting from 1 to 10. The application development was funded by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment as part of the Curious Minds project and developed by the University of Auckland and GeoAir Games in New Zealand. Nine! Okay, brilliant. Let's go to the rewards room. And can you see your hat? These students have not been able to use their fingers to help their brain understand the meaning of values. In addition, Numbers like 6 and 9, or 3 and 8, or 1, 7, 10 and 11 look similar. Is that number 1? <laughs> it has a 1 in it. You'll find one cauldron inside So we've got one. our hat and we've got our cauldron. So engineering is more about understanding our users rather than understanding the technology. Even though there's a lot of M-learning solutions out there, we take a lot of this interaction for granted. Simple things like counting on our fingers that we take for granted as little kids, that's not available for these children. For a lot of students, it is hard to hold their head up for long periods of time. Hold up the magic card! That means the student won't be always able to look at the screen. Therefore, the app is a short audiobook telling the number stories through repetition with variety, which is a key component of the student's learning program. <laughs> Nine tones. Nine keys. If we're trying to use new tools like gaming, then we can build things into those games that help them to recognise what that value is. <laughs> So if the number two is shown on the screen, there might be an activity where they have to identify two things in the picture. They're really seeing that clear link between how the number reads and what it means. Is this a number two? The app teaches numbers by using all available senses. Students listen to the number of musical scale notes, while the teacher can tap along on the student's arm to help deepen the learning effect. 
Although our game testers in this class all had good vision, some students have got very poor eyesight. To assist with that, the cards can be placed in front of the students. To further help with poor eyesight or poor concentration, the teacher can switch any game distraction off that is not essential to the learning, and only the white on black numbers with the related image will remain on the screen. You are starting to become visible again. Quick, find the three dragons and claim your hat. The number is reinforced through a variety of stories, which also teaches the order of numbers. Yes or no? Oscar says no. Congratulations! Was it good? Vince said the, the app was good and clever, and Oscar said it was good, and Finn, you said the app was good and fun. So, and they all reckoned it helped build their confidence working with numbers as well. So we need to think about other ways and understand how can our users interact with technology, try and stimulate the different senses for our users. With the technology that's coming, if you look over the last 20 years, the computing power has vastly improved. And the technology that you have available in your phones now is far superior to what we sent men to the moon with. So the technology will be available in a smaller device, a lot more predictive, a lot more artificial intelligence, and easier to use, hopefully. Technology enables users like these kids to participate fully in life and communicate with others. Through this series, we want to help other developers and the teaching and caregiving community gain insights faster that will ultimately change people's lives for the better. We are looking for funding for this series so we can share more breakthrough projects for people with disabilities. If you would like to get involved, please contact us. We'll see you next time.